Oh, oh blimey, Pete. Hello, Dad. You seem rather perturbed. Perturbed, I would say, is the word. But I look at you, I think you are total perturbed. I look at you, I say per, and I say turbed. Turbed is what I say, preceded by per. Uh, yeah, I'm probably more knackered, actually. What have you been doing? Oh, I met this, I met this, uh, this uh, lovely lady, I thing, and she said I had to do this. Now I got written, I, I, I said I had to do these things to prove that my heart was pure. Oh dear, you don't trust that. What's she going to make you do this time? Hey, well, have I been in this situation before? Several times, several times, Dad. You've come in here and told me all these wonderful things. I say wonderful in the loosest of terms that some bird has made you do. Let's see that list. No, no, I want to read it. It says I've got to drag my tongue across the sand because then I'll be so happy that I'll just across, across, to call across the land, Pete. Soon you'll be the best around. What? Best around of being quite gullible, Dad. Oh, no, no. I'm going to keep my plunder underground. What does that mean? Um... I don't know, but she says I've got hard flesh, cold against the rain, dust billowing around my brazen, um, uh, uh, brain. Uh, yeah, brain, yeah. Dad, give me that piece of paper that you are holding in your sweaty hands. It says here, if I can read this foreign scribble, to saw off all your stinking limbs. Yeah, that's her pet name she has for my feet. Your feet? Well, not just my feet. My extremely hairy legs and hairy back and ha I'm quite hairy, Pete. Yeah, well, I think you're about to be in a very hairy situation. It either says blood dripping down your sunken monkey chin or blood dripping down your sunken money chin. Both basically gives away that she's either after you for puerile financial gain or, or basically after you for a bit of as your father. Oh, he's all right, Pete. No, you misunderstand me. Uh, she's after, you know, c her carnal desires will basically never be satisfied. The thing is, Dad, you have fallen for the oldest feminine ploy since Eve basically said to Adam, I'm sorry, we're out of burgers. Would you like this strange fruit corner? Is she quite tall? Well, I wouldn't say she's tall, but she does have quite a bit of difficulty getting in and out of her house. Mainly, she meets me, and we are about to um, do things, and she climbs out the bathroom window. What you've got there, Dad, is you're going out with an escapologist. An escapologist? You need to go forward, forward thinking. Oh, but can't I live in a distant past? A distant past? Oh, yeah, the distant past. I, I could go up to her and say, baby, why don't we live in the distant past? I want to go back. Go back. Yeah, go back for when we first met so I can fix this particularly romantic and uh, lustful. It's lustful. Basically, she only wants you for one thing. She wants you to do those things that you often imagine that you're going to do to her. Well, that's a win-win situation, isn't it? No, you need to go back into the distant future. A distant future? What do you mean? Yeah, you need to get yourself together, get a grip on yourself. Oh. Not like that. Basically, you need to get inside a time machine of your own brain and realise and go back and basically avoid this bird at all costs. Don't get involved with fast women. Don't get involved with slow women. Just don't get involved with no women. Don't get involved in no women. That means get involved with some women. Well, obviously some women, yeah. Because some women, some women might find you attractive. They might look at you and think, to be honest, you know, life's been cruel to me so far. So why not continue this particular trend and go out with a small, little, stunted dwarf like yourself? Is that what you want, Dad? Is that what you want? A fully naked lady, basically within close proximity of your fully naked body? Uh, yes, please. Do you want her to come along and release her feminine charms all over you? Yes, please. And would you like that to be happening on a regular basis? Yes, please. Oh, well, you're probably the right woman for you then. And she's the perfect bird for you. I'll suggest that you live in the distant now and not the distant past. The distant past? No. Don't go back to the distant past. The distant past? No. Because basically, the distant past is a bit funny. Funny? Oh yeah, I thought, thought funny. You know, she wants to exist in the distant past. The distant past? Yeah, you want to say funny? 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 Yeah, I think so.